I'm starting off with fresh, clean, deep conditioned hair. And I will link down below all the products I use. You have to customize your shampoos and customize your conditioners and wash everything out. Leave your hair clean. Get everything out of your hair. So I put a dime size of that chi silk infusion in my hair and I spread it all around so now I'm going to section my hair and um, make sure you get a wide tooth comb and gently detangle your ends before you start using the blow dryer. The proper way to use a blow dryer is start from the ends of your hair and work your way up because you want to get all the tangles and knots out of your hair so you can go down with a smooth, no, no yanking or pulling to your hair just so you can slide all the way down gently. Now, the second step that I do is I add that Design Essentials to my hair after the blow dry because I really like the way my hair feels after. Um, I like more product in my hair than a little bit. I know some people say this will weigh your hair down, but this is how I prefer to do my hair. Next, I section off my nape. And this is the part that's growing back from my nape undercut. Um, so I really can't see back here. So guys, excuse me if I'm not quite exact, but I just wanted to show you the steps that I took to do the back of my head. Now, next step, and the most important part is sectioning your hair. 
Um, make sure you take smaller sections. Do not take thick sections because it will the flat iron will not be able to grab and smooth every strand of hair. So the thinner the section, the flat iron will be able to smooth every hair in that section. Now, here's one of the most important parts of straightening your hair using a flat iron. I couldn't show you in the back, but it's the chase comb method. You're going to place the comb behind the flat iron and it's going to guide the flat iron all the way down your hair. So in a nutshell, it detangles your hair as you're flat ironing it. Plain and simple. So I'm going to continue on with this until my whole entire head is finished. Now you're going to see why I added that second serum to my hair after the blow dry. Take a look at my hair. Doesn't it look like I have a relaxer? That's why I added the second serum. This is the look I was going for. The relaxed look without your hair actually being relaxed. 